you should never, ever eat. I actually call them toxic superfoods. Let's get right to it. Toxic superfood number one, soy products. The craze for processed soy products took off in the early 90s when the soy industry started investing like crazy. Well, they started marketing soy products as super health foods. To this day, soy producers spend millions to deceive the American public, and it works. Between 2000 and 2007, U.S. food manufacturers introduced over 2,700 new processed soy products. Things like tofu, soy milk, soybean oil, veggie burgers. And of 2007, 85% of American consumers believe that soy products are healthy. But the fact is, soy products are anything but healthy. And I advise my patients to cut them out completely. I've read hundreds of studies linking these soy products to digestive problems, immune system breakdowns, cognitive decline, reproductive disorders and infertility, even cancer and heart disease. Now I'm going to give you two reasons why you should never eat soy products again if you're serious about significantly boosting your energy levels. First of all, soy is chock full of a compound called phytoestrogen. Once it gets in your body, Phytoestrogen disrupts your adrenal glands, your thyroid gland, and could even cause infertility or breast cancer in women. For men, too much estrogen is a nightmare. It affects your body's shape, your weight, your sex drive, and your fertility too. Moreover, estrogen is the hormone that tells your body, men and women both, to store fat. Okay, here's the second and most important reason you should never eat soy products again. Soy contains goitrogens, a substance that disrupts your thyroid gland, and your thyroid gland has a huge impact on your energy levels. Let me ask you if any of this sounds familiar. Feeling sluggish in the morning? Trouble concentrating? Dry skin? Low sex drive? High cholesterol? Weight gain? If any of that does sound familiar, you could very well be suffering from hypothyroidism. It's a serious condition that creates dozens of health problems. And the goitrogens in soy products, including the soy milk and the veggie burgers, which might be in your fridge right now, contribute to this condition. That's why soy tops my list as the number one health food to cut out of your diet, because it's literally draining your vitality from inside your body at one of your key energy sources, your thyroid gland. Let's move on to toxic superfood number two. Wheatgrass. You've seen wheatgrass shots at Jamba Juice and other popular stores. And if you believed what they said, you'd think wheatgrass was a miracle cure for dozens of health problems. But is any of that true? You know, one of the big claims they make about wheatgrass is that it has a high chlorophyll content. Now, this is something that seriously infuriates me. If anyone tries to tell you to eat foods because they're high in chlorophyll, I want you to stop listening immediately. Why? Because human beings can't digest grass. Our bodies weren't built to absorb any nutrients from wheatgrass or any other kind of grass because you need four stomachs like a cow to digest grasses. So the chlorophyll in wheatgrass is totally useless to you. The real truth is wheatgrass is just grass. It tastes horrible and it's super expensive. A tiny two ounce wheatgrass shot at Jamba Juice costs close to three dollars. Worse than that, it contains powerful plant toxins that are designed to make you sick. Ever notice that when a dog wants to throw up, it eats grass? Yep, dogs aren't supposed to eat grass either. And finally, the last toxic superfood on my list. Toxic superfood number three, goji berries. Goji berries were used in traditional Chinese medicine for centuries. That's how they got the attention of the guys who started the superfoods craze years ago. Well, since then, the health food industry has claimed that they help your circulation, boost your immune system, even protect against cancer. The problem is there's absolutely no evidence that goji berries do any such thing. In fact, in 2006, the FDA warned two separate goji berry manufacturers for making unsubstantiated health claims. But goji berries are not only ineffective, they're actually harmful. Here's why everyone should avoid goji berries like the plague. You see, goji berries are a member of the nightshade family of plants. Nightshade plants are extremely high in a very dangerous kind of protein called... Well, anyhow, you got the point. 
I know that you were into tofu and all that stuff at one time, but I've done some research on it, and I just thought I'd share something of this from this uh, uh, cardio surgeon. So, just thought I'd pass on a little tidbit of information. You have a good day. Later.